love when I get seven hours of sleep and I still wake up exhausted and looking like a zombie. That's my favorite. Today is Wednesday. I was going to vlog yesterday, but literally I like got like two clips from the entire day because I did nothing. I mean, like I did things, but I just, it wasn't worth vlogging. I literally sat at my computer for like four hours editing videos and um, doing work and stuff like that. So we're here today. My skin is super dry from this cold weather we're getting. It was so cold yesterday. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get sick from it because it was raining. Like it just started raining out of nowhere. So I kind of just like went in the student center. I was like, all right, I'll stay here and do work till it stops raining. It didn't stop raining. I didn't have an umbrella. My jacket didn't have a hood. I was wet and cold, so I wouldn't be surprised if I got sick. I'm still getting used to my dark hair. Like I keep seeing myself in the mirror and I'm like, who are you? <laughs> I don't like myself without my eyebrows done with this hair. Like, I feel like my eyebrows need to be done to just complement this hair. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I think I might go down to the dining hall for breakfast because I literally just, I don't have any fruit or food, breakfasty type food in the house. I just need to go food shopping after class and go to the gym because I didn't go yesterday because I was wet and cold and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not walking to the gym in this weather. <laughs> so, um, I gotta go to the gym today. I'm literally just like breaking out everywhere. This is very annoying. My skin was literally perfect like two weeks ago. Ugh. So yeah, as for today, right now, I know I have to get done my homework for my class at 10. I know I have to go food shopping and go to the gym and then I also have to do like reading for another class I have today and I have to start two essays that are due next week. So today's going to be a productive day. <laughs> it's going to be a very work, homework centric day which is good because I know you guys like studies with me and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready and make myself look like a living human being and I didn't just crawl out of the grave. <clears throat> there comes the sickness. Okay, so now that I actually look alive, I'm going to go down to the dining hall and get some breakfast because I literally just have no fruit or food in the house that I feel like eating. So yeah, I'm going to head down there right now. By the way, I did finish this book. I liked it. It was a really good read. It was just like a nice, simple, but like interesting, intriguing read. So if you're looking for a good book, this was really good. And I think there's a sequel to it, which I probably will read. But um, I ordered more books on Amazon, but they didn't come in yet. So I just picked up Harry Potter. I was already like halfway through it when I started. Um, yeah, picked up Harry Potter and started reading it because Harry Potter is the OG. Oh yeah, looking super fashionable today. Just kidding, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was gonna just record me walking around, but I literally couldn't take my hands out of my pockets. It's so cold. Actually, I just got my Amazon package. There should be another shipment with another book in it. This is just a extra MacBook charger. That's not very exciting, but got this cute little book of mindfulness. This is super cute. It's like pocket sized. And what is this? You can heal your life. Yeah, I'm on that self-help book vibe right now. So there should be another book coming in later today. But as of right now, I'm going to start doing my homework. I was just opening up my backpack to get my book. And I forgot I got some bananas this morning from the dining hall. Oh, I'm so sneaky. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? It's pretty good. 
All right, so I wanted to just explain real quick how I take my notes from my textbook. This is the only textbook I'm using in my classes. It's just for like my media class, but I just kind of wanted to go through and explain how I take my notes. Um, so right now I was reading this section on production in the recording industry. So I titled my page production and I'm in the recording industry section right now. I still need to take these notes here because I missed this day, but right now I'm working on production. So I title my page so I know exactly what I'm working with. And then usually in textbooks they have the main title and then they break it down into like subtitles. So like here's a subtitle, here's a subtitle. So I've got the main title here and basically what I do first is I always look for the vocabulary because those are important. They're always going to be like on quizzes and just things you need to know. So I usually take the vocabulary, the definition straight from the side and then highlight the word and put in the definition. Super simple. Once again, here's another vocab word. I highlight the entire word so I know that the highlighted words are vocabulary. And then this with bullet points and then like dashes or I'll sometimes I'll do arrows. This is just information that is inside the paragraphs. So usually, like I said, I'll bullet point them because it's just like little bits of information that I think are important. And then I'll underline like certain things that I want to like grab my attention in the sentence. So like here they hire the project managers. I wanted to make sure to underline project manager because that's the important part of the sentence. And then the manager is usually like 10 to 25 percent. That's the important part of the sentence. So I just kind of underline that. I don't highlight it because highlights are for vocab. Underlines are for just like important pieces. Unions, that was important. And then this right here, I kind of do like a little title and then draw a line across. This just kind of separates the subtitles. So right here we have music to record. The next subtitle was finding music to record. So that's just kind of breaking down the information that's in the textbook, kind of setting it up the same way in my notes. And then once again, I just took some bullet points and some arrows of the information that's in this paragraph here. And then we move on to... This next section was royalties. We got royalties here. This happens to be a vocab word as well. So I highlighted this. This is the definition. Little arrow to do some like extra information on the bottom. We got some more vocab words that correspond with the vocab words on the side here. And then once again, we have two more subtitles with just some information in them. So this is how I take my notes from a textbook. This is the very simplified version. I have different versions that are like more detailed and pretty. This is just if I'm simply taking the information from the textbook and putting it in my notes. So here are the notes I have. Of course the ones I'm showing you right now are like a hot mess. My handwriting is all over the place and my lines are all, are all wank, but yeah, these are the notes that I took today. Alright, so I'll show you another thing I do a lot for my classes, which is reading articles that the teacher assigns us. So this just happens to be an article on my university. but. Yeah, so they'll give us an article like this. What I'll do is I'll download it as a PDF and it opens up like this and then I'll use the PDF um, little like highlighter tool. So I'll just like choose my color. I don't know. Let's go for blue and just go through and when I'm reading it, I'll just highlight the things I think are important that I can just scroll back to during class if we're talking about a certain topic or subject. And then there's also a tool up here to annotate and you can just create like um, a little text box and put whatever text you want in there so that I can just kind of move this wherever 
I want and just be like little notes on this um, digital copy. There's some times too where I print out a physical copy and use like an actual highlighter, but for something that we're just discussing for one day, I'm not going to waste paper and print it out, so I'll just have the PDF version all highlighted and stuff. By the way guys, I absolutely love this sitting area. Like it is one of my favorite features of my dorm building. It is huge, these giant lovely windows. I thrive off natural light. So just be able to see this is Broad Street, this giant street down here continues down that way too. That way is actually the city, I'll show you. So this is Broad Street as well and that is the great city of Philadelphia. So I I love this place, I really do. As you can see, I am all snuggled up in my bed. It's actually just about 9 o'clock. It's not even 9 o'clock yet, and I'm literally in my bed, snuggled up. You saw I just made myself some dinner. I made myself some veggie paninis. They were delicious, um, but something kind of happened. I somehow ended up eating an entire box of cereal. Like, an entire box. I went grocery shopping earlier, and in the time that I went grocery shopping, and I finished my dinner, I somehow ate the entire box of chocolate peanut butter puffins. I'm a little ashamed of myself, feeling a little guilty, not the best, but I'm trying to let it go because things happen, they were delicious, I obviously enjoyed every bite of them, and I'm not gonna get fat overnight because of it, it'll go away in the morning, I'm just feeling a little bloated and a little ashamed right now, but yeah, I'm just letting it go they were really good oh yeah if you guys ever do anything like that if you ever have like a a mini like binge session like i just did maybe you eat a whole box of oreos maybe you eat a whole box of cereal like me just let it go continue eating healthy the next day it's not really going to affect your progress if you do something like that every day though then there might be an issue but whatever they were really good. Cereal is such an underrated food. Anyways, um, I did a lot of work today as you guys saw. I took a lot of notes. I did my homework for my English class and then I'm currently starting to draft two essays which I didn't quite show because like I'm in the process of drafting them. I'm not quite sure how I'm going about them yet but once I start doing them I'll show you guys how I'm going about doing the essays and what I want you guys to do for me actually is to request some videos that you're like really wanting to see from me and what I mean like request videos from my main channel um, because I have a lot of ideas like I want to do some more makeup tutorials because I love doing makeup even though I never post makeup tutorials I definitely have a few like study tip and organization videos um, planned I'm gonna do a fall winter lookbook but I want to know what you guys want to see first because it's this weird balance, like how I was kind of mentioning before in my video where I was talking about how I miss like, miss the old YouTube. Did you see me try to get my hand up there to get those air quotes? How I miss the old YouTube. Um, it's like the videos that I want, like I put so much effort into and I'm most excited about, they never get like a lot of views. Like I feel like people never click on them, but they're good videos. So like I always am looking for videos to film that people want but like I literally cannot film another morning or night routine I can't like I have so many of them and I know they're the most popular and what people request but like they're not original they're not fun you know I want to do things that are more original ideas that I can really dedicate a lot of time into and that will really help people because yes morning routines are like fun to watch but like they're not helpful at all like I want to take my knowledge and um, kind of like me being relatable as a normal college girl who goes to school, who gets stressed, who binge eats a box of cereal. I want to take those 
characteristics and put them into my videos because what I should, that's what I try to do every time. So yeah, so if you're liking the idea so far of makeup tutorials and a lookbook organization videos, um, I was thinking of doing like um, a what's in my bag, what are all my notebooks for, just like more like personal things maybe, I don't know. I don't follow the trends. I don't care. I'm not going to do stupid, like, slime videos or those stupid makeup trendy videos. Like, I just try to do things that people relate to, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> Even though it's only 9 o'clock, because of the stupid daylight savings, it gets so dark so early. And then at, like, 5 o'clock, I literally think it's, like, midnight and I'm ready to crawl into bed. So I'm probably just going to watch some more YouTube videos as of now. Um, and then also read. I'm either going to continue Harry Potter. I'll probably finish Harry Potter and then I'll go into those other books I got today, like the, um, the self-help books. I hate calling them self-help books. Those inspirational books. And I also have to do my yoga for the night because I've been keeping up doing yoga every day and I do I do really enjoy doing yoga um, it really has been keeping me on the positive mindset other video I can do how I incorporate yoga into my life but yes that's gonna be it for the night I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope uh, you got some knowledge or help out of me showing you how I take my notes and like study and stuff like that and yeah I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. If you didn't, it's alright. Tomorrow's a new day. We can start it together. Yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned till my next vlog.